It's time for a quick time update of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners meeting that took place on September 21st up at Lake Tahoe. And at that meeting, uh, commissioners approved two uh, $50,000 contributions from the unanticipated capital projects infrastructure fund. And that's to uh, clear debris from the uh, Cradlebaugh Slough Bridge and also the Lutheran Bridge out on uh, Centerville Lane. So uh, that, that's a, cont a contribution there are other people contributing to? Correct. It, it, it's, uh, it, the program has, has been developed by the Carson Valley um, Conservation District, uh, and they have applied for, had applied for a grant with, from the state of Nevada under the clearing and snagging monies that the, that the state has available to actually clear out the two areas that you mentioned uh, to create more capacity underneath the bridge. That grant is a matching grant, and they needed to come up with the uh, obviously the match. The uh, initial one for the cradle bar was about two hundred seven thousand total, and the Lutheran Bridge about one hundred ninety thousand. And to do that, we uh, we agreed to kind of fund a, a small portion of it. Uh, the Carson Water Sub Conservancy is funding a portion of it, as is the Nevada Department of Transportation. Okay. Well, very good. Douglas County is getting an awful lot of work done for a fairly reasonable price. It is. Yeah. It's a good way to do it. Okay, and uh, I guess that's a lot of the, the winter mishmash. They got. Right, mainly from the January, February storms that we had that brought ah. so much materials down, and it actually uh, reduced the capacity of the uh, bridges themselves. So the concern is, is if we go into this next season and have similar storms, we want to start out with full capacity as best we can. Okay. Uh, well, also, uh, commissioners approved an interfund loan from the construction fund, not to exceed $400,000, and that's to fund the East Side Utilities Project at Minden Tahoe Airport. And they also approved a contract in the amount of $1,391,919 for the installation of water lines and sanitary sewer utilities on the East Side of the airport, so a lot of activity going on. Out there, there is, uh, you like to say, Bobby Thompson, who is the uh, manager of the airport, has been very proactive in getting facilities, infrastructure developed for the airport to allow you know, reg a um, logical expansion relating to hangar space and taxiways and runways and glider paths and all the above. The last one of the major projects that was the one we've just talked about here, and she had. She has all the money within her budget, but there are about $400,000 of it is tied up in a reserve fund that can't be used during the year. It has to be budgeted. So what we're doing is borrowing 400000 from county funds, and then come July 1st, we'll pay those back, and then she'll draw that money out of her reserve. So, so it effectively doesn't cost the county anything and, and uh, should be a good project. And so the airport continues not to cost the county anything. Does not. In fact, we make, we make money off the airport. Very that's, nicely run. That's very good. Okay, well, Larry, I want to thank you for the information shared here on the uh, Quick Time Update. Larry Werner, our county manager. I'm Lloyd Higuera, and we'll see you next time on the Quick Time Update.